You know, America, um, we have a shortage of honesty in this country, and so that's why I try to be as honest with you as I possibly can be. Um, I do have an agenda. The agenda is the truth as I see it. Um, right or wrong, in the end, that's what I try to do. I want you to know I'm not a journalist. I am a conservative. I am much more of a libertarian. I have voted Republican, but Republicans have betrayed everything I've ever believed in. Now, that's the way it is with me. But unfortunately, in this country, you don't get people that are willing to say the truth as they understand it. There's a lot of propaganda going on around in our country right now. And it seems to me more and more people don't want you to speak out. They've even gone as far as calling the people who are showing up, both Republicans and Democrats, they call them all conservatives and angry mobs. Take a look at this advertisement released by the DNC. The right-wing extremist Republican base is back. They lost the election. They lost on the Recovery Act, the budget, and children's health care. They've lost the confidence of the American people after eight years of failed policies that ruined our economy and cost millions of jobs. Now, desperate Republicans and their well-funded allies are organizing angry mobs, just like they did during the election. Their goal? Destroy President Obama and stop the change Americans voted for overwhelmingly in November. It will break him. I hope he fails. This mob activity is straight from the playbook of high-level Republican political operatives. They have no plan for moving our country forward, so they've called out the mob. And I want to know why are you people ignoring his birth certificate? Call the Republican Party. Tell them you've had enough of the mob. Yeah, that, um, that's amazing on so many levels. Let me tell you something. We must stop the partisan bickering. We must stop looking at everything as Republican or Democrat. And there's a big difference between the peaceful participation, even though it may be angry, but the participation in our own system, individuals standing up, challenging their representatives, versus the video that I'm about to show you. You be the judge. Which is the mob and which is engaging in political discourse, angry as it may be? Take a look at what happened when some leaders of the Minutemen Project were invited to speak at Columbia University, an ultra-left institution. This, by the way, this, by the way, is the same institution that had Mahmoud Ahmadinejad speak, and they treated him with respect. But if you have a conservative there, that's what happens. Now, let's go to another conservative, former Colorado Congressman Tom Tancredo. He was speaking at uh, the UNC Chapel Hill campus ag about illegal immigration. Watch what happened to him. Notice here, notice here they are saying, he says, I thought this was a free speech crowd. And they said, no, not hate speech. If the group can deem it hate speech, you're over. Good thing we have new hate speech legislation, isn't it? The next clip is a local news report showing Acorn illegally breaking into a home last January in Baltimore. A community organization breaks into a foreclosed home in what they're calling an act of civil disobedience. This is our house now. And this afternoon, they literally broke the padlock right off the front door and then broke into the house. We're actually trespassing. And so this is a way of civil disobedience to try to stay into our house. Okay, so you tell me which one looked like a mob when we come back. I'll show you the DNC's definition of an angry mob.